Sophia here for my great challenger. Welcome back to my channel and kind of like a vintage recipe. I'm actually going to make buttermilk biscuits and if I have time because it's competition tonight uh, I will make strawberry shortcake with real whipped cream. Um, this recipe I got at Miss Happy Homemaker website and you gotta check it out. I put the link down below. She's got a Facebook page. If you're on Facebook please follow her. She's got awesome recipes and kind of like vintage hints and tips. She's really really good. Um, but anyway, she issued this one. It's called Mama's Best Ever Buttermilk Biscuits and I'm going to make that first oven at 500 degrees. So here are the ingredients for the buttermilk biscuit. I have two cups of self-rising flour and I am using the King Arthur self-rising flour. So that's two cups. I have a little bit under a half a stick of butter and this is a quarter of a cup of Crisco vegetable shortening. And this is three fourths of a cup of buttermilk and in milliliter that's 177 milliliters. I can't wait to try this recipe and I'm telling you it looks really really easy so all you do is take your flour and add your Crisco to it and you're going to work with your fingers I remove my uh, band you're going to work the flour with the Crisco until it gets all crumbly Ready to add my buttermilk a little bit at a time. So once you have a bowl like this um, that seems to be semi-formed. I'm going to put it on the counter with a little bit of flour, uh, flatten it and then use a pizza cutter to make little rectangles. Okay, at that point what you want to do is just pat your dough until you make a nice uh, rectangle. So these are going to be cooked in a cast iron skillet in the oven. If you don't have one, you can use a regular cake pan. Just make sure it's really, really um, greased. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of vegetable oil. This has already been seasoned. That's my um, favorite cast iron, actually, <laughs> this one. And what you need to do is take your little biscuits and place them around. You may want to, you know, shape them a little bit. So here's the 
is my melted butter and now remember that my oven is at 500 right so I'm putting a little bit of melted butter on this and that's going in the oven I'm not using all the butter because I'm going to use some more but that's going in the oven for just 12 minutes and here we go 500 degrees 12 minutes how easy was that at the 12 minute mark you pull them out of the oven and you add the rest of your butter and then you leave them alone you put them to the side so what I'm gonna do is prepare my strawberries and my whipped cream uh, because I promised the boys that I was going to make strawberry shortcakes so this is the perfect biscuit for strawberry shortcake and strawberry shortcake is basically a sandwich uh, well there's different ways of making it but the way I make it is with biscuit you just take the biscuit like a sandwich like a burger bun and you put a layer of fresh whipped cream and then some strawberries that have been marinated in a little bit of confectioner's sugar I'm going to wash my strawberries I just have water cold water I'm going to add a little bit of white vinegar and all I'm doing is cut off the stem and just let my strawberries bathe in the solution of water and vinegar and that washes them removes any kind of bugs cleans out any possible pesticide um, herbicide you name it because these are not from the garden they are store-bought strawberries and you can do that by the way Ooh, this one is no good let's cut the other half um, you can do that by the way with raspberries too that shortcake or mixed berries you can do peach to add the equivalent of one third of a cup of confectioner's sugar or powdered sugar to my strawberries and mix it and eventually the sugar will melt and it's going to give me kind of like a syrup Biscuits are cooked. This one's got a nice golden flavor. These two, man, those not so much. Uh, I'm gonna let them cool down and make my whipped cream. Okay, stop buying uh, whipped cream in a can. It's easy to make your own. You just need whipping cream, put it inside your mixer. You can use a handheld mixer as well. Just pour the whole thing in. And 
you can add powdered sugar if you want, but mine is in the strawberry, so I don't want to overload it with sugar, but I do add a little bit, just a tiny bit of vanilla extract, just to give it a hint of flavor. Here we go, whipped cream. Look how thick this is. <laughs> this is really good. Pretty good. It's pretty good, huh? Mm. How's the biscuit? Yeah, best part. Huh? That's the best part? Yeah. All right. Well, the video was about the biscuit, so there you have it. You made that on your own? Yeah. Mm. Good. Well, here you go. Strawberry shortcake. Uh, Edward already had one, and he's going to have another one. Edward, how are they? Pretty good. Pretty, pretty good? Pretty good. Okay, I won't have any because you know me, no sugar, no gluten right now at least, um, but I hear they're really good. The biscuits, delicious. Now, understand the biscuits, the longer you cook them, the harder they're going to get, all right? So you don't want them to be too, too hard. You still want them to be a little bit flaky. Did you notice there's no salt? I love that. I don't eat salt, so this is perfect for Thanksgiving. This is perfect if you have a, a kid's party. It took... What, 20 minutes to put together? Um, not even. It's perfect for the holidays. You can um, put a drizzle if you want to get a, a syrup, like a raspberry or strawberry syrup. You can do that. You can also add chocolate syrup if you want. It's really, really good. Um, thank you, Mrs. Homemaker, for having this recipe. Your mama did good. <laughs> I do like this recipe a lot and making it in the cast iron super fast. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe right here in the corner. And you can find me on Facebook and Instagram at my great challenge, my vintage shop, Frenchie and Tubby on Etsy, channel merch at my great challenge gift on Etsy. And for those of you who are interested in seeing a more intimate look into my daily life, you can join me on Patreon at patreon.com slash my great challenge. I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hey, it's me. And guess what? Click that thumbs up if you really like this video. Thumbs down twice if you didn't. You can also share my video if you really, really liked it or save it to watch later. Also, you can subscribe to my channel, but don't forget to click that bell button so you are always notified when I post a new video. Thank you for watching.